You are welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yaku Mohamed. Today I want to do a video to show us how our inverter take the charge. Basically, the way they charge now, three state charging, then we do. We get bulk charging, we get absorption charge and float. Um, but for this video, it would be difficult for us to for me to do one long video to show us all the three processes. So I will just try to see how fit they manage, uh, how fit they manage the the programming or probably the video. But for today, we'll just do a video on top, the first stage, which is called the bulk. That bulk stage, they call a constant current. Basically, we could just uh, generate one constant current voltage charge the battery, say 10 amps or 2 amps, leave them there constantly. They call the module the voltage until they reach the bulk voltage. For this our experiment, our bulk voltage around 14.5 to 14.8. So, <clears throat> I could just, as I do the video, I will need to report at some point so that I feel they do some connection to reduce the video time. So um, as you can see, I already already programmed this uh, program of parameter into the control card. So I will just post that. Can I go my computer show us the parameter we will take set? So basically, now the parameter we will take program that card with this. If you look at um, the maximum power we will program at seven fifty V, I will send a twelve volt uh, system one do. The type of battery we want to use na EGM. Battery capacity na 200 amp hour. Charging current we want to charge the battery na 10 amps. Equalization voltage. I never implement the equalization process, but in future I go put time. It's supposed to be 15.1. All these values show 150. But for reality na 15.1 because I I ignore the decimal point. Uh the bulk voltage 14.8. Uh absorption voltage na 14.5. Then fluid voltage na uh, thirteen point five. Other parameters nine day down here. Then of course the dead time we will put na one thousand nanosecond. So this for this uh, video, what would they really consign on na uh, the charging coil which is ten amp? So I will pause the video back. Then take us to where the hardware did and see how it take the charge with ten amps. Okay, so we don't see the parameter what we set. Say we want charge this our uh, battery uh, with ten amps. So we see say, the inverter day on, the system day on, but inverter day. Uh, standby. So this now the 750 VA. We see temperature there for 32 uh, degrees. Then the DC we see 2048 E. This is supposed to be the current. I never fit uh, calibrate the current to give us the actual current. So I leave up for raw data. When the inverter no day off, when the inverter no day on, it will show us half our ADC value. Our ADC value now maximum now 4096. So half of our supposed it was 40 2048. So this is now approximately equal to 2048. That means that if you charge, the value will drop. If you invert, the value will go up. So now the midpoint, let me say the inverter day off. So I will just power the, make I put on my meters. Okay, I'll power the, I'll connect them to AC means, make we see I will take charge. Remember, I said now 10 amps we put on. So I'll just power RAM. So I don't power RAM. Our AC voltage now, now. okay, we hear the sound, so it don't switch. Now around two uh two oh nine volt from means which is our hardware the read. But from our meter two oh six. Our device two oh nine two oh six two eleven two eleven. So it means our our means voltage the fluctuate. So the charging current now I don't connect my clamp meter to get the current to the charge. As you can see the charging current now eleven point two eleven point to there about so that was not 11 amps to the charge but what we actually program at 10 amps but what do they see now 11 amps all of these things now function of our main voltage so at the moment they change this current will change but basically you will see the within that 11 point something when i did the last experiment i take my time measure and it did give me around 9 point something to 11 or 12 uh, 12 um 11 as the case may be for 10 amps so from this meter, what do we see now? We see say they be, be charging. This is now bulk charging. So like we said, this bulk charging, it will drive, it will the charger with this 10 amps so we don't program out until. So let's just look at. Okay, sorry, the AC current. Make a change to DC current. Okay, better. So we see I'm saying the current, the meter the current, with the major current, and now DC current. So it did 11.1. One so this is far better than that 11 point so 10 point so it would fluctuate within that 10 11 10 11 sometimes it would be nine so this is okay perfectly um for the project so we expect see, this battery now will charge at 10 amps 
approximately 10 amps. So, if we want to change the current, let's say we want to charge with 11 amps or uh, 12 amps. Because for this experiment, for this project, the possible current we will set time for 12 volt system now, we will set time for 5 amps, we will, we will configure for 7.5, 10 amps, 12.5, 15 amps, depending on this, how you want to be the inverter. If you decide to send 10 amps, you want to charge you. If you decide to send 15 amps, you want to charge you. If you decide to send 12.5, depending on what you want, then you also carry the card, carry the computer, change your charging current. But as the matter they work, we know design to change current when they work. Now when you when you know they work, now you set up. So now most times, now one time set up thing be that. So like I said, because I know I made this video too long, what I go do now is say I go pause them. I will kind of go back to my computer, make a change them to 15 amps. Make me see, okay. We don't say the fan not come up. Now because the temperature now don't go up. The fan now don't try to let us As you can see, the fan came up at 38 degrees. So if you hold with the charge down, as the charge with the general heat, the fan will pull the heat. So you can see, see the current sitting within that node, 11, 11 point something thereabouts. So no, it's just not DC current. Okay, DC current still okay. Uh AC means from our meter that shows 218. 218. The device the device shows now 221, 220 um, volt for means. And then bulk charging. So this bulk charging will hold on. Theoretically, I say this bulk charging will hold on for like I go charge on for eighty percent. After eighty percent, the point change from bulk to absorption. So for this video, I also show us the bulk process. I think the charge. Maybe our next video, I will show us the absorption. What I will do is I will use a fully charged battery because now I fully discharge them so that we will see that first stage. So the next ex experiment, I will fully discharge the battery. I will fully charge them down. So that thing will just automatically move from bulk to absorption. This is not the absorption process now we want to see. So I will pause the video off my main supply, then change the current to 15 amps. Maybe we'll see whether the 15 amps will work. So I will just pause the video. So I don't remove the card. I don't connect them to my computer system. So now the card be this. This is my computer system. I want to change the current to 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 15 amps so i will just call my computer already connect my turn my serial port i'll just change the parameter to 15 15. so i might just pause the video make a feed one way Okay, I don't connect. So I don't connect them. So we can see that it means now two to two volt from our device. Then from our meter now two one nine. So it means that the voltage they fluctuate from means. So let's look at the charging current. Charging current will get now fifteen point six, which is approximately fifteen. Most times when I do the experiment, I take many values. I can get up to 14, 14 amps to even sometimes sixteen amps. But practically, basically, now 15 amps, we don't say we want a programmer. We don't expect them to be 15 amps on the, on the spot. So from, from the way we don't think design this work, we say, if we want to use 5 amps, we will fit set up. If we want to use 7.5 amps, we will fit set up. If we want to do 10 amps or 12.5 or 15 amps, as the case may be, we will fit set up. All we just need to do now to carry the card, carry the computer, go the programmer. But for flexibility, I put that Wi-Fi. Get one Wi-Fi board, do another connect, do another test out. Okay, like the fans just come in. So for the for flexibility, I don't want to make this sound even funny this stuff. For flexibility, we will put one Wi-Fi board. So that Wi-Fi board then will allow us to test um, 
feel they do that configuration. So I will feel they send the current from phone. We need to the pull the device on the connector again. Uh, so this is the process. Because of time and uh, the time we take charge, I know we do the complete video. So like I said before, this video I have to test that with uh, the box stage and see how we set our different current. So if we want five amps, we can pull the card, set up for five amps. If we want a 15 amps, we can pull the card, set up for 15 amps. As the case may be, anyone is possible. I just to know what you want to do and set the current as, as the case may be. But for this experiment, I beg, not try without this uh, current center uh, board. And this board, because we read the current when you go through the battery, they adjust. Because we, we do it to call P controller, uh, P uh, controller, and a P controller they use from the word PID. So they regulate the current when we want. Uh, when we want. So without this guy, without this uh, current sensor, all of this is not possible. It's either the guy will go overshoot, it will blow your battery. So, like I said, no make mistake who test this work without this current sensor board. And this current sensor board is the IND282. And the short motor we will use is 75 milli hours, 75 milli volt at 100 hours. So it means say, this guy go allow 100 hours pass through one with a maximum current of 75 milli hours. Um, so far, we see the thing we charge well. If like say we will get that, we know we will get that for what you know, we see how you can charge. So as you see, now the first stage, which is big, big using a pop charging. So it means say, you need the pop. Once in the pop charging, we will monitor this voltage. As you can see, what do they see there at 13.5? Do they monitor around until this would reach the bulk would reach is 14.8. 14 Once it reach 14.8, it will switch from bulk to absorption. So that absorption, then we come to say you don't charge 80%, you don't charge, you call it 50%. And the absorption process, you can then we complete the 20 to percent So for my next video, I will do, I will make sure say I charge this battery full. Or for I'll make a measure say I full up, I'm just um, slightly discharge and so now we'll see the bulk process when the battery takes full we'll see the bulk process how it is work uh, what else so, so far so good we try to see a lot of uh, time to watch our video I beg those don't forget to hit our like button hit our subscribe button so that we encourage us to do more videos uh, once again thanks for taking your time to watch our video thank you